Here are a few of the best tricks animals can do. Number nine, cuttlefish tricks. When humans get on the internet and pose as the opposite sex, we call that a catfish. Don't do that, by the way. But in the wild, there's a fish that does it all the time. Meet the cuttlefish. Apparently, mating is a pretty competitive activity among cuttlefish. The larger male cuttlefish more or less rule the roost and make sure the smaller guys don't have a shot at sowing their wild oats. Knowing they're physically outmatched, the smaller males conjure up one of the most devious, duplicate, and tr brilliant tricks in all of nature. They pose as females to fake out the bigger males. You see, in order to attract mates, female cuttlefish extend their tentacles to show, hey, I'm ready and willing. So the smaller males will extend their own tentacles, change their color, and shack up with a larger male who has already found a mate. Thinking he's now betting two female cuttlefish, the larger males fall for this trick like clockwork. Meanwhile, the smaller cuttlefish slips underneath and mates with the female. And you thought your love life was complicated. Number eight, stone eating crocodiles. If you've learned anything from this channel, it should be this. Crocodiles are some pretty tough animals. With razor sharp teeth, ninja-like reflexes, and incredible size and strength, a crocodile more or less has a wide array of dinner options. I mean, when a croc strolls down the river, just about anything they see could be on the menu. So it might surprise a few folks to know that crocodiles are known to sometimes swallow stones whole. Now, it's not that crocs are just gluttons who will stuff their reptilian faces with anything and everything they can find. They swallow stones whole because it helps their digestive system. Since a lot of crocs eat large mammals whole, they need some help digesting all that. I mean, can you imagine what having an entire wildebeest inside you must feel like? Um, inside your stomach, that is. Anyways, with stones resting deep in their bellies, they provide a hard surface which grates the bones and shells and whatever else might be coming in a croc's meal. Crocodiles aren't the only ones who swallow stones. Alligators, birds, seals, and sea lions are among the other animals who use this digestive tactic. Whereas we might just eat Tums or take an X-Lax, some animals use rocks, stones, and pebbles to assist their digestive system. Rocks that are swallowed for this purpose are known as gastroliths. The more you know. Number seven, pearl fish hangouts. In Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Luke Skywalker famously was placed inside the carcass of a Tantuan to save his life during a blizzard. It seemed a bit extreme, but hey, it worked. But you know who doesn't think it's extreme? Pearlfish. When they're trying to escape predators, a pearlfish will hide inside the butt of a sea cucumber. Talk about extreme survival. Sometimes more than a dozen pearlfish will slither their way inside of a sea cucumber's butt in order to stay alive. Now, while they might make your average prostate exam seem like a cakewalk, sea cucumbers never evict these slithering parasites from their own body, and nobody exactly knows why. It makes no sense because sea cucumbers actually breathe through their butts, which becomes more difficult when a group of pearlfish just make themselves at home. In some cases, pearlfish are even believed to gnaw away at their host gonads, which must Okay, I, I can't even imagine. Long story short, be thankful you're not a sea cucumber, and if you're ever invited to some sort of weird underwater costume party, make sure you don't go as a sea cucumber. Number six, when baboons stop caring. Whether it's apes, chimps, or whatever we're dealing with, primates are usually quite social and playful creatures. That's why the case of the apathetic baboons is truly a puzzling one. In 2013, zookeepers in the Netherlands were baffled as to why an entire colony of baboons in captivity all of a sudden just started seeming all depressed. The once playful and active baboons suddenly started acting apathetic and kept their backs turned to visitors. Widgebren Landman, a biologist and spokesperson for the Enman Zoo, described the strange emotional journey of the baboons to the Spiegel Online. In a four-day arc, they went from being hysterical to depressed and apathetic. Even when zookeepers brought food for them, they still weren't happy. And we're not just talking about a sad monkey here and there. This colony consisted of 112 baboons, all of whom seemed to be down in the dumps. 
Landman suggested that perhaps the leader of the colony was upset, which caused the rest of the group to be upset as well. Oddly enough, it had happened three previous times at that same zoo, and to the best of their knowledge, it doesn't seem to happen anywhere else. And while the gloomy state of affairs was thankfully a temporary thing, it's still a weird situation to say the very least. Maybe one day someone will crack this mystery because no one wants monkeys to be sad. At least, I think that's the case. Number five, parrot talk. You know, one thing that doesn't get enough credit for being flat out weird is the fact that parrots can talk. This odd little quirk of nature has led to some interesting characterization, such as a Lego, the wisecracking, and at times diabolical psychic of Jafar from Aladdin. It's also been rumored that Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the US, had a pet parrot who often imitated Jackson's vulgar language. Okay, so what actually makes a parrot talk? It's not so much that they have command over any particular language, but rather how their brains are wired. In 2015, The Telegraph reported that scientists discovered key differences in parrots' brains that allow them to imitate all kinds of sound, including human speech. It was always known that parrots were among a handful of birds known as vocal learners. But the new research revealed that parrots have layered brains. There's the core of the brain, which is pretty much the center. Then there's these outer rings known as shells. Both of these areas of the brain control vocal learning. But in parrots, these shells are bigger than in other birds, which allows them to absorb more information and imitate behavior. This brain pattern appeared to be consistent across different parrot species. So whatever neural gene parrots that have allows for vocal learning gives the parrots the ability to imitate sounds and speech. They're so effective at it that in 2014, a pet African gray parrot named Nigel escaped his home in Britain. He somehow wound up in Southern California four years later where he was found by a lady who used his microchip to track down his original owner. Long story short, Nigel, who once spoke English with a British accent, now spoke Spanish. Amazing, right? Number four, bowerbird nests. We all know those people who go above and beyond to make their front yards look really nice or tacky, depending on how you feel about it. But we hopefully don't know anyone who would sabotage their neighbor's yard to bring more attention to their own. Well, meet the bowerbird. As part of their bizarre mating ritual, the male birds build and decorate these intricate looking nests in order to court a prospective female mate. But these guys also go out of their way to mess up each other's nests in order to bring more attention to their own. Wow, can you guys imagine how crazy things would be if people did this in real life? Bowerbirds are even known to create optical illusions that demands more attention from a prospective mate. By arranging objects from largest to smallest, it creates a forced perspective from their mate and increases their chances of mating. Well, maybe we can all learn something from this crazy bird, which is don't mess with other people's houses. Number three, dogs and their tail. We've all seen it and most of us find it hilarious. A dog can entertain him or herself to no end when they chase their own tail. The question we all wonder is, why? It turns out there are a number of reasons why a dog might engage in this crazy behavior. The most obvious thing isn't really that surprising. Dogs just want attention. And chasing their own tail is a good way to draw attention to themselves. Boredom is another reason. When we get bored, we play on our phone, but dogs have fewer options, so they chase their own tail. In some cases, it's just genetics at work. Certain breeds, such as German Shepherds, are far more likely to chase their own tail than other breeds. And we're not really sure why. Finally, and perhaps most surprisingly, sometimes it's actually a weird compulsive disorder. Past trauma, such as physical abuse, confinement, and separation anxiety can cause a dog to compulsively chase their own tail. If that's the case, please get that dog help. Obviously, compulsive tail chasing causes serious injury and pain to the dog because of them continuously chewing on their own tail. Number two, penguins hiding their heads. We've all heard of the headless horseman, but considerably less well-known is the wild tale of the headless penguin. In 2010, these photos of two seemingly headless penguins captivated the internet. I mean, what's going on here? Did they lose their heads in some freak accident? Is it some sort of weird optical illusion? There's actually a reasonable biological explanation for all this. These two king penguins found on the South Georgia Island in South Atlantic have double jointed necks, which allows them to essentially bend their heads in ways you'd have to see to believe. 
This weird phenomenon for allows some king penguins to twist and bend their necks in bizarre ways. It probably makes it much easier to scratch those otherwise hard-to-reach places on their backs. Beyond their strange ability to look headless, king penguins are fascinating birds. As the second largest penguin behind the emperor penguin, these guys are found primarily in the South Atlantic and Northern Arctic Oceans, and there are more than two million penguins among their ranks. And while we live in an age where many of nature's creatures see their numbers dwindling, the king penguin population is actually increasing. Nice. Number one, Jesus Lizard. The Basculus Lizard has been nicknamed the Jesus Lizard, not to be confused with the rock band. They've earned this distinctive nickname because of their incredible ability to run across water. Yeah, bruh, a lizard who runs on water. In case you guys aren't familiar with one of the most famous stories ever, Jesus walked across the Sea of Galilee during a storm. Apparently, these lizards can do it too under dire circumstances. Whether it's a miracle of evolution or a pure adrenaline rush, Jesus lizards can flee across the water when a predator attacks. They achieve this amazing feat by reaching an incredible velocity and expanding these fringes that they have on their hind toes. This allows them to basically run across the water long enough to elude their attacker. Here's what's next. When it comes to living incognito among coral, the pygmy seahorse probably wrote the book on the subject. Since they're so tiny and they blend in so well with the...